and um, Canon down. I really missed my mum, and um, I was looking forward to seeing her again. And um, I remember I counted out of my body and um, gave my mother a big hug. And um, I remember we passed through a couple of walls together while we were hugging, and uh, it was quite noticeable. And then we came to rest in uh, the back bedroom. And I remember how wonderful it was to hug her again, and I could smell that real mum smell. You know, the lipstick and hairspray and skin, mum's favourite perfume, yeah. And mum was telling me, um, to ask you a question here, that um, she used to have astral projections as well, and telling me about when she died, she had this experience which was just like an astral projection. She said, you know, the body buzzed a little bit and she just popped out of her body. And next minute she saw her sister Mary, who she adored. And they started talking and going off and exploring and doing things together. And she said, we were having so much fun with all these interesting beings. And a really long time went by and we looked at each other. And we, you know, they spoke and said, do you think we've died? And Mary said to us, she said, what, you mean together at the same time? And mum said, like, yeah. And they thought, wow. This is so excellent <laughs> because they were re- they, they were really happy. I mean, because they were both like eighty years old, and they were both still ambulatory but quite ill, and they hadn't experienced anything really nasty like uh, lots of pain, you know, hospital or things like that. And they were totally pleased to move out of life sideways together like this, and you know, begin exploring the afterlife now. But because they had, uh, both of them had had astral projections before, they were very familiar with the environment. And so they had no fear of them. They were really happy to have passed over. Robert so had Bruce, a big effect on them. we have come to the end of our time together, and very quickly it seems, a remarkable man, a man living in two worlds, quite genuine, quite real, has just told me what is one of the most wonderful and extraordinary stories I think I've heard in years. Uh... His mother and his aunt dying at the same time, and then he he visits them in the astral, and we ask ourselves, what's the value in this? Do you want your life to be bigger? Well, I want your life to be bigger. That's why I'm bothering to go on the radio and yell and scream about the fact that you live in the middle of a great big extraordinary world, and people like Robert are good guides, real guides. So get his book, will you, Mastering Astral Projection. Go on his website, astraldynamics.com. As I say every week, get involved. You can build your spirit. You can do it. This is Whitley Strieber. This is Dreamland.